me so that I could do this teacher tag because I needed some motivation. I needed a reason to carve out some time to film something, okay? <laughs> so here I am. So these are fun in the summer teacher tag questions. Yes, okay. So I'm just gonna go straight through the list. So I have my laptop on my lap so that you guys can get some of this. All right, number one, what is your favorite thing about summer? Doing nothing. <laughs> I love, I said this in an Instagram post recently, I need a reset. Like, I can go, 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 but after a while, I just need some time to be like, just stop, put nothing on your schedule, and just be a hot mess. So my favorite thing about summer is that I get to be a hot mess. Question number two, uh, how do you typically spend your summer days? Okay, let me tell you my ideal summer day. This might not be typical because I'm always all over the place everywhere. My ideal summer day is I get up in the morning with no alarm. That is important. No alarms. Um, and then I get to read my Bible um, and just spend some alone time. I'm an introvert. People don't believe that, but I am. And then go work out and then come back home, cook some breakfast, and then start my day. Go to a coffee shop, crank out some work, and um, then in the evening, like, go hang out with a friend. That is my ideal 1,000% summer day. Question number three. Where are your go-to summer activities and places to visit? Obviously the beach. I live in South Florida, hello? Um, so that's like if I'm blue, but in all honesty, like every summer I tell myself, Esther, this, just be chill this summer, but then I end up going a thousand places. So I don't have a necessarily go-to summer place, but I'm always a thousand different places. So I just came back from Chicago slash Wisconsin for a wedding. I will go to Boston next week by the time that you guys see this video. The week after that, I will go to Dallas. I will spend a month in Europe, mostly in France. I will take a side trip to Barcelona and a side trip to Venice so that's what summers look like I will say though that faithfully probably for the last umpteenth amount of years of my life that I've gone to Boston every summer my mom has a bunch of siblings that live there right now my grandma's there she's getting old and she was like Esther you need to come visit me before you know so hint hint definitely gonna go visit her beach or swimming pool this is too hard of a question because I have a swimming pool in my community, which is literally like a four minute walk, a 30 second drive. And then the beach is 20 minutes away and I equally love them both, I think I have to say. I probably go to the pool more often though. So I'm, because I frequent the pool, I'm gonna say pool. But that doesn't mean I necessarily, it just takes more work to go to the beach. Favorite ice cream flavor. I love, love ice cream. Um, coconut ice cream is my favorite but it has to be done right like it has to be mostly smooth like a minimal amount of flakes coconut ice cream is my favorite and there's a place called Razzleberries on Atlantic and A1A down here that you should go to and have their coconut ice cream if I do not have coconut ice cream lately I have been into mango mochi which you can find in the freezer section at Publix um, but if not I'm a really big fan of strawberry ice cream that's so basic um, with some fixings in it. So Cold Stone, like their strawberry sensation or something, I don't know, I usually get that. Or I'm good with some cookies and cream. That was a lot. I really like ice cream. Do not judge me. Question number six is favorite summertime song. I have not thought about that. And embarrassingly enough, right now, I've been listening to Old Town Road. <laughs> I'm gonna take myself to the summer road I'm gonna sleep till I can't no more I got my books all in the back No grades are attacked Um, wow Ignore that comment Summertime makes me think of dancing Um, and you can never go wrong with Whitney Houston Oh, I wanna dance with somebody mm, mm. I wanna feel the heat with somebody um, so I'm just gonna go with that one. Favorite summertime movie? Is that a thing? Do we have summertime movies? Any teeny bopper, um, rom-com, like 17 going on, or 17 again, whatever that one is, uh, with Zac Efron, you know some, oh no, actually, High School Musical 2 summertime, when they are during the summer and they work at the country club, I'm gonna just put that there. That was my childhood. Question number eight, what are your Netflix summertime viewing plans? Stranger Things, point blank, period. I 
cannot wait till July 4th. I'm going to be on a plane, but as soon as I get home, facts. That's all I'm doing. Don't talk to me. Don't bother me. Binge watching the whole thing. I give myself three days. Which books do you have on your summertime reading list? <sighs> okay, so embarrassingly enough, I do not have any books on my summer list this year. I have a lot on my to-do list and books are not one of them. I do faithfully, however, read my Bible. So um, read First and Second Peter today. We'll probably go through maybe a couple other books in the New Testament, um, the small ones though. Um, so that I'm consistently reading my Bible, but after that, I do not have any. I'm not in a reading year. I go through seasons. I'm not in a reading season. Oh. Womp womp. What I what? Ooh. Let's try that again. What I what? Ooh. Let's try that again. <laughs> Question number ten. What are your must-haves? essential items for the summer braids i actually have these braids in like 90 percent of the year maybe not maybe like 75 percent of the year um but braids for the summer ask any black girl um must have i don't know a bright color on my nails this white is giving me life right now bathing suits for days floaties for days access to a pool or beach what are my summertime must-haves free time 11, any summertime teaching goals do you have in mind? No. 12, any professional development plans? I'm going to get your DJ on. I'm going to be a part of the Magic Squad. Excited to help people out over there. And we get to sometimes peek in and see what people are doing during some sessions. So I'm always pumped to see people be pumped about education. Question number 13, when do you start prepping to go back to the classroom and what is your first day back in the classroom? My first day back in the classroom is August 8th. Um, and that is the day that I will start preparing for next school year. 14, describe the perfect summer day. Okay, I did that already. Um, when I said my ideal summer day, wake up, read my Bible, talk to Jesus, go work out, make breakfast, go to a coffee shop to get some work done, Go to the pool. Go hang out with a friend. Boom. Three words to describe summer. Marvelous. Excellent. Fantastic. Guys, I am really ecstatic that you decided to join me on this ridiculous video that I just made for you. Thank you, pencils and magic wands. Boop. Marielle is the best, and I'm so thankful that she asked me to do this. Thank you for... I'm hopping along for the ride in the description box. You'll see all the other teacher tag wonderful people. So make sure you go watch their videos and see what's up with them. Um, I'm sure I'm trying to produce more content for you. Like, subscribe, notifications. I think that's what YouTubers say. Um, and super grateful that you decided to.